What is up you guys? Welcome to another day with Spencer here on my personal channel. And I know, it has been a long time. It has been a while. Um, I think probably like two or three months. And I have been trying to make a video, but a lot has been going on. And so, if you are on my other social media sites and such, you probably know all the things that I've been dealing with in these last three months. But if not, this video is to help everybody understand why I've been gone for so long and what has been going on. And yeah, so hopefully this answers a lot of the questions that I'm sure some people have had. I'm just going to pick the top three questions that I've been getting often on my other social media sites and explain everything that's been going on. This video is probably going to be 10 minutes, so, you know, get up for it. Question one that I've been getting is, how was camp? So before I left, I was talking about I was going to Camp Aeronutic in uh, July, and it is a transgender and gender non-conforming camp. And in short, camp was amazing. It was a great experience. It was kind of like another Pride or another Philly Trans Health Conference for me, in the sense that I could just go tell people what my gender expression is, tell people what my pronouns are, and no one's going to have a fit about it. Everyone was respectful, everyone was nice, all the campers were awesome. Camp was honestly a very amazing experience. I'm so happy that I went and I'm definitely planning on going again next year if they would take me. So um, yeah, camp was great. Camp was a week and on Thursday of camp, or Wednesday night at camp, I tore my ACL. Um, it was very hard. It was a very hard thing that happened. We were playing capture the flag and I tore my ACL and it was just a nightmare. I spoke about how that, how the medical part of it happened a little bit on Transtastic, but I'm gonna let you know a little bit of what I was dealing with while at camp with the torn ACL. Basically, they escorted me to a level three back in the woods um, hospital in New Hampshire. Now the camp already like did some training with the hospital staff on transgender individuals, so that part was great, and I'm very thankful for the camp for going ahead and being proactive and doing such a thing. But everybody in the um, hospital referred to me with the right name and pronouns, and it was fine. However, the medical treatment, I would say, was subpar. The doctor did an x-ray to make sure I didn't break a bone. He manipulated my leg and it confirmed that he believed, or suspected, I'm sorry, that it was a torn ACL. And that was it. He didn't give me any pain medication. He just told me that I was just going to be fine on ibuprofen and Advil. And he also didn't schedule an MRI. So when I got back and called my dad and spoke to him about what should happen, he was like, you need an MRI, get an MRI. And maybe they just need a confirmed tear to give you pain meds. So I was like, all right, we go call the next day and the doctor would not schedule a MRI for me. He wanted me to wait until I got back to Atlanta. So I was gonna be in New Hampshire slash Boston until Saturday morning. I had a torn ACL as early as Wednesday night. You didn't give me any pain medication and you didn't wanna do any diagnosis or diagnostics to make sure it was a torn ACL. So that was incredibly hard. I was in a lot of pain. I had to call Atlanta to call up to New Hampshire to give me a prescription just to make it through until I got to Atlanta. And even when I got here, no, unless I went emergency, no doctor's offices were open on the weekend. So I had to wait until Monday to get a doctor's appointment to get the diagnosis of not only a torn ACL, but both lateral and uh, medial menisci were torn as well as damaged cartilage under the bone. So it was a lot that happened to my right leg, um, a lot of trauma in that knee, and I just basically was told to take over-the-counter ibuprofen to get rid of the pain. So that was really hard. I mean, I got through it um, thanks to the medication that I was able to get called up from Atlanta and the um, quick, how quickly I was able to get seen by a doctor here. But it was just like a really terrible experience in the sense of no one would want to, I don't know, give me any help. And I don't think that's kind of how it works. So that was probably the hardest part of it. But camp was amazing. And now I have a torn ACL, which brings me to my next uh, question. How long is your recovery? With the damage that I have to my knee, my recovery is expected to be anywhere from six months to 12 months full recovery. 
and what that means is being back in shape to the place I was before I tore my ACL. And that has been incredibly hard to accept. One of the biggest reasons is because a lot of my coping mechanisms has been centered around sports or being active. I played basketball in high school, I played basketball in college, I rock climbed since being out of college at least four times a week, or three to four times a week. I would swim when I didn't rock climb, and even a lot of my friends, we do athletic things, um, we rock climb together, um, we were planning on going outdoor climbing when I got back, planning on going camping when I got back. It was just really hard to hear that I won't be able to do anything sports related or athletic for that period of time. That diagnosis also meant that I was out of work. As you know, I work at a veterinary hospital as well as an EMT, and both jobs require me to be on my feet, and I could not do either of those things. And I was out of work for a very long, a long time. Um, it was a month and a half, and I just got back to work this week, and that's only in one job, and that's only, and that's not even doing what I did. It's being a receptionist. So it's been really trying on me to have to just sit around at home, at a parent's house actually, and do nothing. And when I was depressed about it, I couldn't use my coping skills because I couldn't do anything. And I had to be really creative and think of ways to get out of this depression without hurting my leg more, which is something that was, you know, fun to explore as well as um, anxiety ridden because you know I had this idea that this isn't going to work this isn't going to work or comparing it to climbing or comparing it to basketball and nothing seemed right and it was just a period of like growth and just trying to think of what I could do to make myself feel better in this situation. I'm thankful to have great friends I'm thankful to have great family members who got me out of the house um, like I said, all my friends are active, but we did things like game night and um, just <laughs> watching anime series together where I was able to get out of the house and just be with them or get up and do something so I wasn't just sitting around. I also picked up the ukulele. Um, I'm learning how to play the ukulele and it's such a fun instrument that's kept my mind off of things. And thankfully, while the time I was recovering, there is the Olympics going on and now a lot of the big time shows are coming back such as you know Chicago Fire and Grey's Anatomy and Scandal and How to Get Away with Murder so that will help me along um, with just the boredom that I've been experiencing and give me something to do so that's how long it's going to take to recover and how I've been kind of handling it it's been really rough it's been really rough and then the last question that I'm going to answer is how is my transition going so my transition is still going fine. As of yesterday, I was a year and six months on testosterone. So this is my voice, a year and a half on T. Um, everything is coming along to get um, well. I'm, I know you can now see I have some facial hair. Um, and I don't know, I think my voice is pretty much done. This is just how deep it's gonna get. And I still have muscle growth and every everything is just going fine. Um, I did have a I did have a top surgery date for March. I mean, it's still right now in March 23rd. Unfortunately though, I have to be 100% healed from my ACL tear to do top surgery just because of blood circulation, etc. So that's another, I guess, down or con of tearing my ACL because I may have to again reschedule my top surgery date, which is something that I've already put the down payment on and I hate to do. It's also like, because I have been off of work for so long a lot of my savings had to go to just living because I had rent to pay for and utilities etc so I'm still hoping for March and it's hopefully still going to be March but you know that's something that the surgeon told me that I would have to consider and told me that you know if I did not get cleared with um, the circulation of my knee by March then he's not going to do the surgery so that's where my, t my transition is right now um, a year and a half on T, top surgery hopefully in March. Um, yeah, that's where I am. I've been really upset and focused on everything that it's taken away from me. One of the small things that it took away from me was my piercings. Um, if you notice, I've been down a size. These are the, my twos because I had to take my pier. So this is what I'm mad about. 
they didn't tell me, I t asked them, I specifically said, do I have to take out any of my piercings? And they're like, no, because you're not going to go into an MRI machine. And I was like, great. And so I came in with my vertical industrial, which is gone, my gauges, and my septum, and they're like, sorry, you got to take them out. And that really pisses me off. That pisses me off so much. So anyways... I had to take out all my piercings. I still have my septum is slipped up at the moment, but I still have it. Um, I had to go down a size because I couldn't go to, I couldn't really be in the frame of mind to put anything back in for like a week because I was on medication and it closed up that fast. And then obviously my vertical industrial closed up, which sucked because that was one of my favorite piercings and one of the hardest things to heal. And it was finally healing and settling and everything was great. And then I lose it. So I'm not going to get it repierced. It sucks so much to heal, but, um, yeah, so I lost my piercings, and I need to stop focusing on all the things I've lost, because I've gained a lot of things, and I gained an amazing experience, and honestly, I wouldn't trade it for anything, so, that's where I am, that's my mind frame, that's what's been going on, I hope you guys are having a great week, and are gearing up for an even better weekend, um, the high holidays are right around the corner to all my Jewish followers, so I'm excited about that. If you're in Atlanta, Pride is right around the corner. I'm excited about that. If you're also in Atlanta, uh, FitCon, which is um, Transgender Fitness Convention, is in Atlanta, which I'm excited about. So I still have things to look forward to, and that's great. Um, so I hope you guys are having a great week and are getting up for an even better weekend. Oh, I'm currently almost four weeks post-op from ACL surgery. Just so you know, my surgery was August 26th. So yeah. Have a great week, gearing up for an even better weekend. Um, it's Sunday at Spencer. Until next time.